We must move to a new place. Michael J. Fox and Tracy Pollan roast Megan for ruining their life in SB. Michael J. Fox and his wife Tracy Pollan sold their Quogu New York residence in 2021 for a whopping $6.1 million and relocated to Santa Barbara. But here's why they didn't stay long in Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's neighbourhood. The star, who's been battling Parkinson's disease since the age of 29, revealed to people back in 2021 that they decided to move around for no reason than simply to just keep moving to seek a really quiet place. We did an interesting thing, Michael told the publication. We sold our house and we went to Santa Barbara for a couple of months. But this place isn't really our peaceful place because we're sharing the same neighbourhood as the former royals. Referring to Meghan and Harry, My wife and I want a quiet and private place, but we've seen stalkers and cameras being set up in the area frequently. Maybe we should keep moving. Indeed, Meghan usually stalks the famous people and harasses the other's peace. Earlier, she was accused of stalking Catherine, Angelina Jolie, Amal Clooney and many other celebrities. Michael added, We're going to go to Malibu later this year and hang out. We don't have anyone to pick up at school. When news broke that Michael and Tracy Pollan wanted to move to Malibu, many people expressed concern. The couple have been warned that they also may have to move somewhere else because Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been to visit the site of an $18 million mansion in Malibu. Increasing speculation that the pair could be looking to leave Montecito and move their family closer to Hollywood. The couple went to see the estate over the Labor Day earlier last month. If this is true, then I really feel sorry for the residential area in Malibu. In other news, experts have just started to weigh in on Meghan Markle's rumoured bid for a political U-turn. Professor of Marketing and Consumer Research at Royal Holloway, Pauline McLaren. She broke all of this down in one of her most recent interviews with Express UK. During the course of this chat, Miss McLaren was quoted as saying, When she was lobbying for parental leave, she used the Duchess of Sussex title, and I don't think that was an appropriate move. To me, that indicates that she doesn't quite know where she is. She wants to use that title as a status symbol, but for a political route in the US. Using a title is really rather ridiculous. It shows that she wants to keep her foot in both camps. She could have said that she was co-founder of Archwell or an actress. The raw title still seems to contribute to a sense of self and identity. I think it shows that she hasn't got a clear direction. With regard to her chances at entering politics, Miss McLaren believes it's not unheard of given Arnold Schwarzenegger's entrance later in life. At the end of the day, it just depends how she develops a strategy, learns and adapts. She could probably go far, but she has a lot of tainting to overcome. I would have thought the Americans are not over Harry's book spare. The Sussexes were teased mercilessly for that, particularly with South Park. In the eyes of Miss McLaren, that was really a significant popular culture moment where they became a huge laughing stock, and still are to an extent. So I can't see it going anywhere at the moment, Miss McLaren also added before signing off.